So we're on the east coast, and Abigail's really proud of herself that she's got here first. She's just walked three miles down the beach to a World War II tank buried in the sand. Just check it out. You be careful. You might get some metal splinters on there. See the old wheels, the suspension, the engine cylinders by the looks of it. Can be. And then we've got the, uh, what do they call this? You know, it's the ring, the slip ring of some kind. I don't know what the one tour would have been on the top. The wind's starting to pick up a little bit now, wouldn't you know? Just as we get here. And look at the shininess of that bearing still. It's really nice. Yeah, there's some seawater in there. there. Might even be a crab or two inside. There's still the remnants of one of the wheels. Yeah. It's really interesting. Some metal plate work. Oh, this is armour. Tank armour. Look how thick that is. That's an inch thick. Inch thick steel plate. It's got a uh, number on it. 2NS80. And yeah, more armour down this side. Excuse the wind. Jesus Christ. Windy. Wow, that's just come out of nowhere, that wind. So I apologise. But isn't this awesome? This is the gearbox. So there's the motor with the cylinders, the engine, diesel engine. And then we've got a clutch by the looks of it there. And then the big gearbox on the back, which drive through probably, I don't know if they'd, they must have had a differential in there because you could operate the, taxi, ta the tracks independently. And uh, yeah, wire rope. I think the steel is solid as a rock, slowly rusting away into the beach. Isn't that uh, isn't that rather cool?